The master track in a live set performs a number of important functions. In this movie, you'll see how the master track is used to control the overall volume of a live set and also used to create arrangements in real time and on the fly. I have a live set here with a number of clips that are already loaded. And in a live set, multiple clips or a row of clips are called a scene. Scenes are launched on the master track by clicking the scene launch button. This particular live set has five different scenes. I'm going to start here by launching scene one. I can control the overall output of my live track with the master volume fader down here. Launch a different scene. And launch another scene. I can stop my scenes at any time by clicking the Stop Clips button or the Stop button up here. Now how this all plays into creating arrangements we'll look at in much more detail later on. But basically what you'll do is you'll start recording with the global record button, launch scenes and create arrangements. And you've seen some of that in the quick start movies and you'll see more of it in the arranging and exporting movies later. We also have a master panning knob here for controlling the overall panning of your master track. But you'll probably want to leave that dead center for a regular old stereo mix. Scenes in the master track can be renamed using the same kind of functionality that we use to rename our audio and MIDI tracks. In this case, you'll just select a scene, right click or control click, or use the key command, command R or control R, and you'll rename your scene. Click enter or return, and you're done. And renaming scenes is a very good way to keep track of what you've got going on here. For example, you might want to choose to rename a scene intro, verse, chorus, ending, etc. You cannot, however, rename the master track. That's always going to be the master track. Let's take a look at the in and out functionality here. Here we've got the cue out, which is used for sending a separate mix to headphones if you're doing a DJ set, for example, and the master output. And again, we want to leave this as it is because it's set up nicely. We've got master output one and two left and right stereo. So you'll want to leave that just as it is. Finally, the last bit of functionality I want to show you on the master track is the preview volume, which you saw when we were looking at the browser. But I'll show you again here. You can raise and lower the preview volume for any clips that are selected in the browser as you preview them. So that's a look at Live's very important master track.